This is Rachel with Tovatech. If you watched our video on how refrigeration works, you know that it's important to remove the frost that builds up on the evaporator coils in your freezer. Manual defrost and automatic defrost freezers do this in different ways. An automatic defrost freezer has electric heating elements embedded in the evaporator coils. The heaters turn on during the automatic defrost cycle. These heating cycles are on a timer, and in advanced models, you can set how often the freezer defrosts. During the heated defrost cycle, the temperature rises inside the freezer, and the best way to minimize the temperature increase is to keep the cabinet full. If you notice that the freezer looks empty, fill it up with ice packs or with frozen water bottles. A manual defrost freezer has to be turned off to melt the ice, and this needs to be done on a regular basis. That means you have to have a backup freezer where you can put the contents of your freezer during defrosting. Most manual defrost freezers should be defrosted at least once a month. An accumulation of a quarter to a half inch of frost tells you that it's time to defrost. The temperature in a manual defrost freezer is very stable. This is the best type of freezer for samples like enzymes that can't tolerate even small temperature fluctuations. There's no doubt that automatic defrost models are more convenient, but they use more electrical power and you need to decide whether they're best for the materials you're planning to store. If you'd like our help selecting the best model for your lab or clinic, give us a call. We're here to help.